I want nothing more than those cops to get in trouble for what they've done. But I want, I want this to be a representation that Black Lives Matter, not just to police officers, but also to me. There's not enough clapping for that. See, when the, the, the established system starts to act like Black Lives Matter, maybe our kids might start to believe it. See, I can't ask my kids not to kill one another when the other people are allowed to kill us in the street and not get in trouble. It's a value statement that's being made when my child doesn't have the same rights or liberties as your child. And I can't blame them for being okay with killing each other because so are you. See, we're taught to treat each other a certain way. And when I was a young man, I want you to know, I knew if I did something egregious against a white person, I would be held accountable. But the judicial system and the police will let me know that if I do something egregious against a black person, that's just another black on black situation. I get so sick and tired when people tell me the, the, the issues that George Floyd had in 2007. Like he doesn't deserve justice because he's not a saint. Literally, there is writing saying that George Floyd wasn't a saint. We're not saying he's a saint. I shouldn't have to point out that he's good enough to receive justice. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and I could go on and on and on. Every name, that's somebody's child. These are Americans. We're not saying that they're saints. We're saying that we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. You feel what I'm saying? With rights from their creator. To have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now, I want y'all to know, I probably didn't quote that correctly, but I do know one thing, that each and every, each and every one of us shouldn't have to prove our sainthood to be safe. We shouldn't have to do that.